Baking Technician Overview of the Baking Process Baking is the method of cooking food with the help of dry heat, controlled in an oven, hot ashes or hot stones. A combination of three forms of heat is used for the baking process. These three forms are Convection Radiation Conduction Following are the broad steps giving an overview of the entire process of baking. Pre-mixing Dough preparation Dividing Dough molding Proofing Fermentation or non-fermentation Baking Cooling Depanning Slicing and packing Let us summarize the process of baking with the help of this process chart. Tools and equipments used in the baking process. Sifter. It is used to separate coarse grains and fine particles of flour using flat sieves. The main parts of a sifting machine are the drive mechanism and the set of sieves. The flour is separated from the grains by horizontal or inclined sieve and sifted into three to six groups as per particle sizes. Mixers. It is used to mix cake batter and make whipped cream, dough, icing and fillings. There are two types of bakery mixers, planetary and spiral. A planetary mixer's mixing arm is set in a planetary motion without motion of the bowl and is used for all products. In spiral mixer, the bowl of the mixer rotates and the hook spins at the same time while spinning and kneading the dough in spiral manner. It is used to knead and mix dough for bread, bagels and pizza crusts. Divider, rounder. It is used to divide dough into equal proportions. This motor driven machine is usually used for bread dough. Dough sheeter. It is used to roll out dough into a consistent sheet with the desired thickness. Dough is compressed between two or more rotating rollers to produce a consistent sheet. This equipment is used especially for pastries and biscuits. Dough molder. It is used to give uniform shape to the dough at high speed. It is highly efficient in terms of fuel and energy consumption. Proof box, proofers. It is a sealed space that provides the right environment and encourages fermentation of dough by yeast. This is done by providing warm temperature and controlled humidity. Laminator. It is used to make sheets leaner, giving bite and texture to biscuits. Depending on the orientation, Laminators are classified as vertical and horizontal. Baking oven. It is used to bake or roast food in an enclosed compartment or receptacle. Depositors. It is used to deposit accurate portions of batter. Rotary cutter. It is a pair of rollers with various shapes used for cutting the dough as per the desired shape of the biscuit. Dough molders. It is used to get the desired shape of biscuit, cookie or cake. Spray coaters. It is used for coating or spraying baked products to give them a glazed look. Dusters. They are used for dusting sugar and or salt on biscuits. 
cooling conveyor. It is used for cooling baked products. Packing machinery. It is used for packaging finished products. Types of ovens. Ovens are the most important equipment required in the baking process. Different types of baking products require different baking processes. Hence, different types of ovens are used. Cabinet type. Rack ovens and deck convection ovens. Large sheet pans can be wheeled for baking in various heights. Mechanical. Real oven and continuous tunnel convection. The product moves on a conveyor belt inside the oven. Useful for uniform baking of biscuits. Masonry. Wood fire ovens used in private shops and cafes. Optimum temperature of 450 degrees centigrade is maintained. Execution of baking process. In the baking industry, there are two ways to process baked products. They are continuous process and batch process. The following table explains these processes in detail. Continuous. A mechanical process which is non-stop till the process is complete. An automatic machine is used. No manual labor involved. Machine controls are set only once at the start of the entire process. Biscuits, cookies, etc. are baked using this process. Batch process is a stepwise process using semi-automatic machines. Manual labor is involved. Machine controls have to be set for each batch. This process is suitable for baking bread, cakes, buns. Proofing Proofing is the method of final dough rise using a leavening agent. Proofing is a part of the larger fermentation process. Let us now take a look at the various stages involved in an oven baking process. Preheat the oven. Load the pans. Set baking temperature and time for baking as per process batch, continuous. Start baking. Observe the color and appearance of the baking product. Do a thorough quality check of the baked product. Depan the baked product. Transfer the baked product to cooling rack. Send the baked products for packaging. Let us summarize the oven baking process with the help of this flowchart. Packaging and storage of finished product. For packaging of finished baked products, a method called Modified Atmosphere Packaging MAP, is used. The gases used in the method are carbon dioxide and nitrogen that increase the shelf life of the products. After the baked product is ready, it is packaged and stored. Baked products continue to lose moisture and starts get setting as time passes. Hence, it is important to cool baked products in the right way before it is packed. This ensures that baked products have a long shelf life. During the cooling process, the humidity of the cooling atmosphere must be controlled. There are two types of cooling systems that have to be followed. They are atmospheric multi-tire conveyor cooling. The products from the oven band travel on a canvas web having single, double or three tires. They are cooled slowly by the surrounding atmosphere. Forced draft cooling conveyor cooling. In this process, filtered air is blown against the direction of product coming out of the oven on the cooling conveyor. This ensures cooling of products 
faster than the atmospheric type. The materials used to contain, protect and handle the delivery and preservation of finished goods from the manufacturer to the user is called packaging material. Materials used for packing baked products are selected if they protect from foreign odor, contamination, heat and moisture, protect from mechanical damage, help in easy handling of products, are easy to carry, increase or maintain products shelf life, follow legal compliance for values and ingredients for consumers. Packaging is basically categorized into primary packaging and secondary packaging. Primary packaging, it is the packaging that comes in direct contact with the product. Wax coated or laminated BOP film paper is used. Example, bread and bun packaging is generally made of a base coated paraffin wax. Secondary packaging, it is the packaging that is used for transportation, warehouse storage, handling, cardboard boxes, CBB made of craft papers, tins are used often. Example, plastic crates that contain breads and buns. Storage of finished products. When storing finished products, some common methods are followed. Bakery items which may contain perishable ingredients like cream, cheese or eggs must be kept under refrigeration. Products that may have a longer shelf life can be stored at room temperature. All finished products are stored with labels of its ingredients and shelf life. Stock rotation methods like FIFO and FEFO is used to rotate finished products. FIFO, first in, first out, is a stock rotation system that dispatches processed food depending on the order in which it is produced. FEFO, first expired, first out, is a stock rotation system wherein products that need to be consumed earlier are shipped first. Roles and Responsibilities of Baking Technician Let us now take a look at the roles and responsibilities of Baking Technician. Handle raw materials from post house storage to the process line. Check raw material for quality. Ensure the ingredients are sound and free from dirt, debris, foreign matter, glass and insects. Ensure minimum loss of raw materials. Record keeping and documentation. Document and maintain records of raw materials, production schedule and process. Finished products. Maintenance of hygiene and sanitation. Adopt safety and sanitation related measures. Follows food safety norms and practices. Inspect machines and troubleshoot issues. Ensure smooth operation of machinery to complete production line. Optimize the use of machinery. Attend to minor repairs of tools and machinery when required. Ensure that safety rules and regulations are observed Prevent accidents. Plan and execute baking process. Examine products at different stages of baking. Adhere to good manufacturing practice, GMP. Ensure the products meet the quality standards set by the organization. Inspect immediate as well as finished products. Ensure conformance of quality as per organizational standards. Follow storage and packaging norms. Ensure safety and proper storage of raw material, packing material and finished goods. 
Let us now summarize the roles and responsibilities of baking technician.